Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a quick and easy Dollar Tree craft and this is actually how to make a garland out of Dollar Tree ribbons and I think it turned out so cute and hopefully you guys will enjoy this too. Make sure you check out all the links in the description box down below. This is part of a major collab with some awesome people who are doing Dollar Tree crafts as well. For Halloween, I thought it would be really fun to decorate for, and all I did was I went and picked out um, a bunch of assorted ribbon um, from Dollar Tree, and these are each a dollar, and I picked out you know as many different types as I could find. And then I'm going to use some jute cording, and I'm going to use this as the base of creating uh, my project. You can find this at Walmart, and I think it's right under the $2 mark, or you can actually find some at Dollar Tree just in smaller quantities. To start the project, what you're going to want to do is take some of the jute cording and you're going to start unraveling it. It's better to actually not cut off the end so that way you can make sure you have it to the exact length that you want. And you're going to go ahead and cut a length of ribbon and you're going to want to make sure that all the lengths of ribbon are pretty much approximately the same size. I want this to be kind of a more dramatic one so I'm going to cut these in 34 inch strips. So. The first step is once you've gotten this cut, you're going to actually um, make sure that the ends are even with each other. And then at the top you're going to make a loop and I'll show you the next step from there. After you've formed a loop, what you're going to do is take some of the cording here and you're just going to go ahead and pull these through, creating a little loop here and then you're just going to pull it taut and that gives it a nice even loop and then you have the um, ribbon showing down on both sides and you're going to continue this process all the way down. Let me show you another one here. As you just take the little loop that you make and you're going to do the same process again. So you're going to fold it over the top here and bring both ends through. And then once you have both ends through you're going to go ahead and use them to tighten it. And you can actually slide these close to each other so that you get a nice even appearance on the end. So this is what the garland looks like after I used all of the ribbon that I had on hand. I actually had to go back to Dollar Tree and pick up extra ribbon because I want this to be um, a lot longer. And if you want to not use as much ribbon as I did, you can always shorten the lengths of the ribbon. Um, I used, I think it was 34 inches, so you can always cut that down and use um, half of that size and you'll still get the cute effect of it and you won't have to use as much ribbon. But if you're looking for something kind of dramatic that could be used as a photo background or as a main decoration for a party, then you know the longer length looks um, a, a little bit more fun and festive. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on and I will show you guys what the completed project looks like. And here is the finished result. I have this hanging up here in the wind a little bit so you can see how it moves. I think it turned out really cute and it is very easy to do. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out all the links in the description box down below. They're full of some amazing Dollar Tree related crafts and tutorials. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.